Hey there, Smoke Master D coming at you again with another barbecue buyer's guide, this time to Smoker Grills. Here we have some chapter times for you. If you want to skip ahead in the video, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel. Always trying to put out some more uh, content for you, looking at smokers, grills, other things sometimes too. All right, and the first thing we're gonna look at is what's the difference between a drum smoker and a smoker grill? All right, and basically they're the same thing, except one's round and the other is square or cylindrical and cubic. So they do the same thing. They have their fire on the bottom. They have heat that rises, food on grates, uh, hooks or hangers. Sometimes they have, you know, heat shields on the bottom. Sometimes they don't. But, um, you know, there's the possibility for direct heat cooking. And the, the heat from the fire is, you know, made less by the distance between the, the fire at the bottom and the food on, at top. Of course, when you have the whole hanging thing going on, uh, you're hoping that, you know, that the swirling of the heat around uh, your hanging food is sort of evening that out as well. So they are very similar, and that's why uh, I'm including this Pit Boss drum smoker in this episode to begin with. All right, the other thing that we have to get out of the way here is that Kent Rollins plays a part in one of these products he is apparently licensing his name for the use of this hasty bake grill smoker that we're going to be talking about today so there he is he is a cowboy uh he owns a ranch from what i understand uh, i i haven't watched his channel enough to know whether he actually goes on horseback and and drives cattle from one place to another uh but i suppose there's a good possibility that he might but he has a cooking channel and he has one of these hasty bait grills apparently something that looks like maybe the prototype maybe he built it and then licensed it to hasty bake maybe they've had a collaboration from the beginning I don't exactly know all the details for that story if you do you know share those in the comments below i'd love to hear them one of the main sources for this show is going to be a YouTube video that he put out. So Hasty Bake, they didn't introduce the grill they're selling on their own channel. Apparently part of the deal, uh, so I imagine, is that Kent Rollins would put it out there first on his own. All right, and here we have our smoker grills, okay, and, and the Pit Boss drum smoker. Really, there's two that are on the market. That isn't to say that you can't find more out there. I looked, I looked hard, <laughs> um, but most of the other ones are probably gonna come from smaller producers of grills, uh, you know, metal shops here and there that, that will make you something similar. Uh, a lot of the, the grills that I saw didn't quite have that height from the firebox to, to the grate to, to qualify them. Um, you know, uh, I have a, an episode on pig cookers and some of those could or would qualify pig cookers is, is basically the next progression in size from these, uh, grill smokers. They're, they're the same thing too, right? So if you want something bigger than this, go check out my, my episode on pig cookers. Uh, but let's take a look. So we have the mini chud box here and it comes in two variations, standard and pro. And the standard has an eighth inch uh, steel. There's, there's gonna be a couple more differences that we're gonna get to as we go along, but the main one is the metal thickness. So eighth inch steel for the standard, 3 16th inch for the pro, and the price difference is there, 1350 and 2000. And then we have the rough neck barrel smoker and it comes in at a base price of 899 
But with additions, uh, there's two additions, and we're going to cover those uh, during the episode. It would be $1,073. So that is with free shipping. So um, even at that $899, they will ship it to you for free. You do have to put it together. Uh, so there's a video of somebody yeah, putting it together. There's bolts. Uh, one one other main difference between the Roughneck Barrel Smoker and the Mini Chud Box that I don't really talk about later on in this episode is that one is welded together, fully welded, and the other is bolt together, uh, the Roughneck Barrel Smoker. And there you can see that K uh, badging on the front of the smoker. The K is for Kent Rollins. So there's there's his stamp on this product. You know, I don't believe there's any actual badging on the uh, mini chud box. Uh, so it is just what it is. Very simple in design and and use. Um, let's come over here to the Pit Boss Champion Barrel. So uh, I did an episode on this smoker pretty recently. And it was actually a comment in uh, the comment section for the, that video that put me on to this Roughneck Barrel Smoker. So thank you for your comment there. Uh, and, and the main thing about it was that it has a door at the bottom to open and so you can refill the charcoal, which is, you know, you don't, you don't see that on other drum smokers. But what you do see it on is these, these grill smokers. So, it is in here as a point of comparison for that similar feature and for the other similarities between the two. So, uh, you know, we have three three here that we're looking at, but it is $839 uh, plus shipping to me here in North Carolina. I can't remember if that was a flat shipping rate to everywhere or if, or if it was just here to me. It would be $949. So, um. The base of the Hasty Bake and the Pit Boss, actually, you know, with the shipping, the Roughneck Barrel Smoker comes out cheaper. Uh, I do think the additions for the Hasty Bake are worth worth getting. So once you add that in, uh, it, it would be more. We're going to visualize the prices here in this graph, and you can kind of see where they are just basically what we saw there except visualized um and yeah the pro is is a lot more than than some of these other ones all right and the first aspect we're going to look at is number of racks so the chud pits have one rack uh that's all they have uh i imagine you know if you wanted to you could weld in something in there that would be an extra rack uh, you know, it's, I don't know if, if that would be, you know, your solution. Part of what makes the mini chud box, what it is, is that direct heat to the meat. And when you get into having more than run rack, you lose that, right? And in a sense, this uh, mini chud box is sort of the purest smoker grill here being, um, you know, Bradley Robinson talks about taking his inspiration from the cooking style of Western Texas, uh, you know, which is the same as as the cooking style with pig smokers over in the Carolinas uh, and and having that direct relationship between uh, the rack and the meat and, and the fire below is really kind of what he was going for. Which brings us to the philosophy of what brought us the uh, this hasty bake, you know, the roughneck barrel smoker, is that it is not, you know, made from from trying to copy that tradition or be part of that tradition. It is trying to be, as they explain in in Kent Rollins' video, uh, a a barrel smoker, a drum smoker, but square because they believe that that is actually better. Uh, for the whole rack situation as opposed to hanging. So they do have two racks, and we're going to talk about um, a heat shield, heat diverter that, that they have for this thing later. But that lower rack addition is going to be $99. So 
So if you want to go two two racks, it's an extra hundred, which adds into that those price additions that I talked about on the price slide there. Now the pit boss one is going to win because it has the most space. Uh, if you're looking at you know inches squared as as part of of what you want. So three porcelain coated racks on three positions, and you can see them all overlapping there. All right, and here is the inches squared. So you see for that mini chud box, it's 391 all around. Uh, the Roughneck uh, Barrel Smoker, 388. If you add the addition, it jumps up to 776. And uh, the Pit Boss there, 386, and then 1158 you uh, are using all three racks at the same time all right hanging so again the chud box uh the mini chud box it doesn't have any hooks or hangers because that's not the tradition it's coming from so that's really not what it's there to do um and can you really fault it that for, for that so you know i think that maybe it's not entirely fair to compare uh, hanging with this chuds uh smoker grill to you know the the roughneck and and this pit boss in this show i try my best to compare like things but maybe this this episode just isn't what that is you know um so i wouldn't take too much into it that there's no hooks or hanging for the chud the mini chud box uh but let's take a look now at the hasty bake and there's a lot that i like that i see here uh this roughneck smoker has the ability to hang and uh hold meat on a rack at the same time uh, so you see you can split it half and half that way now i have a pit barrel cooker and i have a fold grate that um you know is an add-on that allows me to do that as well uh but this seems to be more naturally engineered into the original product that just allows you to do this there's no upcharge uh, as you see in the bottom picture you can put the hanging directly in the middle or you can do the racks and i imagine if you get that extra rack uh, the the bottom rack you could have food on you know top bottom and hanging all at the same time so really interesting possibilities to think about and so i called hasty bake and they tell me that four hooks do come with the roughneck smoker it looks like you see uh three hanging there in the picture uh the top one anyway uh, pit boss was another matter entirely so i finally did talk to them i found their number you may remember in my my last show on this i i told you that i didn't know how many hooks that they had and when i was talking to the the person on the phone you know, he worked in in their department i think i think helping people uh with issues with their their pit boss grills uh, and he looked up the specs for this pit boss barrel smoker and he didn't see any hooks there and he knew that they would be listed there so we came to the conclusion that they don't actually send any hooks with this smoker you have to buy them uh, separately and when i look at the hooks in this picture they look a lot like the pit barrel cooker hooks does that mean that they are those i don't know but they definitely could be uh so that you know is kind of a hidden cost if you want to do hanging on this pit boss drum smoker and now we're going to talk a little bit about height just to sort of visualize the the height between the fire and the the racks above um so the the mini chud box is going to be 48 inches tall the Roughneck is going to be 36.75, and the Pit Boss 53. All right, and when we overlay their pictures on it, it gives us a little bit better sense of, of how big they are. Now, of course, you have to sort of factor in that uh, the, the Mini Chud Box has the rack below. So when you look at that and you kind of cancel that out, it's going to be have similar 
internal dimensions to this this roughneck barrel smoker the pit boss uh you know it's a bit more layered in there um and it it's a bit taller uh and it may have more room just being how that it, it it's created a little bit more for the hanging and and three entire racks inside all right let's take a look at the air intake so the mini chud box has uh the chud style notch door intake and they put this on all of their smokers even the offset smokers so you have those little notches and you open the door and you put the latch in the notch and that measures how much air you're going to take in now the air intake on the roughnecks is going to be this pinwheel style so you know you just uh take those pinwheels and move them around to see how much air you can put in it looks like in this picture one is a lot wider open than the other uh, i imagine you'd want them to be fairly even on either side and then for the pit boss you have that dual pipe intake so it's a little bit more convenient having those pipes up where you can reach them more easily so you can just open them there then the exit damper for the chud uh mini chud box you've got that top stack uh and another pinwheel damper at the top back okay for this kent rollins inspired roughneck barrel smoker there is for the pit boss a lever uh that goes into a top stack that allows you to cut off uh air or open it it also has a rain guard, which, uh, you know, I guess if you're you're cooking in the rain, uh, the biggest uh, obstacle or biggest problem that would be for would be the mini chud box, having it totally on the top. The exit damper on this uh, hasty bake, it's interesting to me. You know, it's interesting. The exit damper is sort of opposite side of, of the entrance damper and that it's not on the top so some of that smoke's going to get caught up there and cycle down to to where that is uh, i think that it could work really well uh, and the reason for that handle there we're going to talk about in a second but uh, the lower configuration for that hasty bake does interest me a little bit all right fire basket or area um and this brings us to another of the bigger differences between the standard and pro mini chud box for the standard uh there's just nothing down there except the bare metal and that is where you have your fire there's no basket uh of course you could probably make yourself a basket or get a basket from somewhere if you really wanted one um but it seems like maybe that's not the point of the mini chud box that maybe more the point is is having just the fire there um for the bigger kinds that are, are pig cookers uh of this sort of grill a lot of people will take a um, burn barrel and burn wood down to coals and shovel them in uh so that you're just getting the the food cooking over the coals so I think maybe that would be an easier situation if you were using something like the mini chud box. Um, for the Pro, there's fire brick on the bottom. Uh, there may be some more insulation than the fire brick. I'm not sure uh, when when Bradley Robinson Chud uh, was was talking about it. He said something about fiber insulation. We've never seen any fiber insulation in in this. Maybe he does have it now. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. So we have a charcoal basket here for um, the Hasty Bake rough neck. There's no ash pan in the video. It says that he puts down a cookie sheet and sweeps it out onto the cookie sheet, all the ashes. Um, it does seem a little too bad that you couldn't have any sort of ash pan in there. Maybe that's something they'll uh, upgrade in the future. I don't know. Um, but that is the configuration currently uh there is an ash pan for the pit boss so it has that v-shaped bottom that's going to cup your uh your your coals together as they're they're going down and burning out 
So keeping the, the coals concentrated, it's generally a good thing. Uh, and they have, you know, they're, they're putting in some pit boss wood pellets uh, to, to add smoke. In my last video on, on these, I hypothesized that the whole door at the bottom might be just so they could sell some pellets. <laughs> uh, you know, that access allows you to put those in there. But um, yeah, that that is what is the firebox area there. And you have that lovely door to open and close. Lower access. So here is that door. If we start on the pit boss side, we see how it opens, closes back in easy slide out for the the basket there um on the hasty bank and the door axis for the chud pit all right now heat diffusers right we talked about these a little bit earlier you see it for the pit boss again we're going to start on on the right side kind of looks like a propeller right but the the plate there it looks like they make you know cuts and then push down uh, those blades, which interestingly enough is similar to the hasty bake, even though it's not round, it's sort of squarish. And from their video, they, they explain that you can, can take those and bend them, the blades that bend down, you can bend them however you want to increase, you know, more fire access through those slats or decrease it. So the level of which, you know, you're cooking directly or indirectly, you can manage with this plate. You don't have to use the plate. You can take it out and then it'll just be out and you'll be cooking directly over the coals. And, and I imagine when you put it in, the, the temperatures from top to bottom are going to even out a bit, right? And you're not going to have as much flare up. Um, but part of what you want with a grill smoker like this is that flavor profile of of the juices and the grease vaporizing on the fire so how much you want to use that or not use the heat diffuser it's uh it's kind of an interesting question it's up to the individual user uh the chud box the mini chud box doesn't have a heat diffuser you know i'm sure you could make your own but uh, yeah, that's, that's not what it's there for. All right, now mobility. We've got four inch lockable swivel casters for the mini chud box. Uh, you see the little locks there. You can just step on those and, and they'll lock into place. There is, and this is the, the second upgrade for the Hasty Bake uh, Roughneck, and it is $75 for the wheel dolly. Uh, and includes that handle in the back. So you've got to put the handle on back there and that allows you to pull it into wheelbarrowing uh, position or dollying position, however you want to say it. Um, and, and you can move it around. I imagine much easier. Uh, I think the thing only weighs maybe, I don't know, somewhere north of 100 pounds. So if you wanted to carry uh, the Hasty Bake, I don't think it would be too terrible to do, uh, but the, the dolly is going to help a lot. It's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, also, the pit boss over here has a wheelbarrow style, and it's just built in to its, its regular unit. It comes with all of them, and it looks like it's fairly easy to wheel around. All right, materials. Uh, so you see Brad there uh, making his chud box smoker, his mini chud box. Um, and like we said before, uh, just standard steel. The standard has an eighth inch and the pro has three sixteenths. So that thicker steel, it's going to hold uh, heat better. So it sort of absorbs it. And whenever cooler air comes in contact with it, it's going to put that heat back out. Uh, the thicker the metal, the less temperatures are going to change, the more stable they're going to be in general. That's just how metal thickness works. Is it the end all and be all of, of, you know, pits? No, it's not. But a lot of people like thicker metal. So the pro with that three sixteenths, uh, really, that's just, you know, one sixteenth more than the one eighth. So in degrees of thickness, it's not a whole, whole lot more, 
Um, now let's talk about this court and steel that the Hasty Bank uses. So this is a picture of Kent Rollins' own roughneck box smoker. And one difference you're going to see there is that the rebar is what he uses as the handles. They didn't do that for uh, the, the production model. So you won't see rebar handles on them at all. Um, so that is just his. But it does show us the patina that is going on there. The thing about court and steel and this 18 gauge for this thing is that it is an architectural grade steel that is made to rust, but not rust through. So it creates a rust uh, sort of film on the top, and then it doesn't rust interior to that. It creates a protective barrier of rust and, and the rust doesn't go any further. So for longevity of this smoker it's probably going to be pretty good uh even even just leaving it outside without much in the way of protection it's it's going to last and it's not going to deteriorate like other similar steel uh smokers would now the pit boss appears to be powder coated steel um you know if you get a scratch on it uh, then you can have rust. Uh, if you get your fire to the point where where the powder coating comes off uh, or is lessened, you know you could have issues. Then I don't know what the uh, the temperature rating is for its coating. Um, I did call Pit Boss though, and they the the person I talked to said that the metal they use is between sixteen and eighteen gauge, and he did not know which it was. Uh, for this model so we're going to look here uh, and we're going to we're going to change that to inches instead of uh, gauges uh, one thing about gauges is the higher the, the gauge number the thinner it is so it's kind of inverse of what we think of in metal thickness so the mini chud box standard there uh, you're going to see is 0.125 inch thickness and the pros up there are 0.1875 then the roughneck is down there at 0 0.0487 inches thickness. Uh, if I were going to guess, I would be guessing that the pit boss was uh, 18 gauge and at that 0 0.0487. But like I said, I don't know that for certain. Um, and it's possible that it could be that 0 0.064 at the, uh, the 16 gauge side. All right, now shelf and storage. So the, the mini chud box has that lower storage, the, the bottom rack. Uh, it doesn't have any sort of shelving that you could use as prep. So you're going to need some sort of other prep area um, nearby where you're cooking. Same goes with the Hasty Bake. Uh, you know, it's a standalone unit, doesn't have any storage below, doesn't have any shelves. Um, and the Pit Boss... It doesn't have any storage, but it does have two fold down shelves, which is a nice touch. It's a nice touch. Accessories. So yeah, for the Chud Box, <laughs> uh, they have some interesting st stuff in uh, the Chud store. Uh, a lot of stuff I like, but nothing you know that looked like it was particularly specific for the mini Chud Box itself. Uh, I did put their charcoal chin chimney on here. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it's going to last a good while. Uh, the strange thing about uh, Bradley Robinson's show is that he doesn't seem to use a whole lot of the things that he sells <laughs> in his videos. His offset smokers, the same one he built a long time ago that doesn't resemble the ones they sell. His uh, charcoal chimney is the one that he's had for forever and isn't this one here. Um, but it has a really cool looking chud branding on it uh, for the cutout. And it is $100, which is a lot more than uh, pretty much any other charcoal chimney that I, I can remember or have seen. So, but if you want it, it looks like it's good and will last a good, good little while. Um... The Hasty Bake, again, um, D 
didn't really see much in the way of accessories for the Roughneck Smoker. They have a lot of ones for their other grills. This great scraper, however, does look like it might work pretty well on those grates. And it is $29. Then uh, Pit Boss has a cover for their smoker that is $59.99. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, Chud hasn't gotten into the cover thing yet. Uh, and it's it's nice that you can probably just wheel the mini Chud box right into your garage or, or some enclosed area. And the Hasty Bake uh, Roughneck uh, is, in a sense, weatherproof. Uh, in their, their video, of course, they talk about, you know, if you, you don't want it to have that rusted patina look, you can cover it with oil and protect it that way. And then then it'll be kind of like other smokers in, in that sense. Um, the uh, the Chud Box, you're going to have to to keep it oiled to keep that protection for its metal. Now, um, this is one of the main reasons I've never covered uh, a chud pit before. But since I wanted to do this episode on grill smokers, I felt like I really couldn't leave it out uh, of this episode. Namely, because there aren't, aren't many, like I said before. If you wanted to buy this mini chud box right now, you couldn't do it. Um, this is the screen that pops up. The wait list is currently closed. All right, and you can read it. Um, they're not a huge operation, and uh, Brad's YouTube channel is very popular. So there's a lot of his watchers who want to buy uh, the the pits that he makes and and shows on his his YouTube channel, but. Um, that's where a hidden cost sort of comes into play. You can join his Patreon for five, 10 or $20 a month. Okay. And when you do that, um, this is, this is actually an email I got back from inquiries from their email address. Uh, they let the Patreons know whenever, you know, things are available for purchase. So say you want the mini chud box, um, but the list isn't open. Everybody who is a Patreon is going to have an advantage to take any places that uh, open up, you know, and I, I don't know if they have only a, you know, what they do for when they open the list, how many they'll take in a certain amount of time. But if they do close it again, these people who have the Patreon are going to be notified. They're going to have the opportunity to jump in this line more quickly than people who aren't, they don't know, right? This constitutes a hidden cost, right? $5 a month at, at the bare minimum in order to get this, this pit right now. I do think that they are looking to increase production you see the second part, we are, will be selling the mini chud box soon, which will be able to freight nationwide. So their other pits are local, local pickup only. I know that they, they got one of their episodes is, is going to a new location for, for sort of their home for doing this stuff. Um, I think that there's a good chance that the mini chud box will be more available soon than what it currently is. And maybe this whole uh, wait list being closed thing is, is going to be something of the past. I hope so. I hope so, because I think that there's a lot of demand for this mini chud box. And and that extra cost of, of being in the Patreon, of course, you know, you get a lot of other things in their Patreon and the, the different levels. You'd have to go look to see if you would want to join the Patreon. Um, it's kind of like, you know, Amazon's Prime, right? <laughs> Maybe you just want the free shipping, but they throw in their uh, their streaming service or say you only want the streaming service, but they throw in, you know, free shipping on their their store. Um, so it's kind of a two for one kind of deal. But if you're only looking for the one, if you only want the mini chud box, um, there's kind of that added added cost that you don't see right away. 
Fortunately, however, um, you can build your own mini chit box and uh, the there's a video that shows you exactly how to do it, which I think is very generous of, of Brad, not sort of holding the secrets close to the vest as, uh, as a lot, a lot of these builders do. They're not going to show you how they build, build their stuff. Um, and part of that is, you know, the whole simplicity of what it is, uh, I think is, is maybe part of that. Um, uh, I like, I like Bradley Robinson. I like his channel. I, I don't watch it all the time, but I watch it fairly frequently. And, um, guy really seems to love barbecue, love the simplicity of barbecue and the mini ched box is, is, it is a simple smoker grill and if if you want one of these even if you don't know how to weld and all that stuff you could probably get somebody a fab shop near you fabrication shop near you somebody who knows how to do this and you could probably get them to build it for you maybe cheaper than what they're selling for at at, um the chud store um maybe the same price uh, so availability is a very strange thing for this thing. It's not available, but it kind of is too. And in fact, if you go to Facebook Marketplace, I've seen a few people saying selling uh, mini chud box style smokers. So you can keep your eyes open. You can commission one. Um, but yeah. And my thoughts. All right. Um I think you'll do pretty well with any of these smokers. I like the mini chud box. Uh, I think that it's going to last a really long time and be a really great smoker grill. Um, if that is what you want to do, the content from, uh, you know, uh, chud barbecue from, from Bradley's YouTube channel, uh, just kind of makes the experience of, of having something that he's also using better. Uh, of course, you could say the same thing about uh, the the Roughneck Barrel Smoker and Kent Rollins. Um, Kent Rollins, he has over 2 million follow uh, subscribers. Uh, I think it's getting close to two and a half. So there could equally be a lot of people who want to, to cook what he cooks on, on this hasty bait. Pit Barrel, not really the same sort of thing there. Uh, I like the pit barrel smoker. In my last video, I said that I liked the Oklahoma Joe uh, Bronco Pro a little bit better. Um, the one thing I will say, owning a pit boss uh, pellet grill as I do, um, I don't see it lasting, outlasting these other two. The The whole powder coating thing, it, it kind of wears away with use. Uh, after you use it for a good while, I think longevity wise that the mini chud box and the roughneck barrel smoker are going to last longer. And when I say that I, the pit boss, it's probably going to last you. And if you take care of it, it's going to last you a good while, you know, 10, 15 years, something like that. The thing about these other two is, is I think there's a good chance that, you know, their lives are going to be double, maybe triple that uh, just because of the way they're built and, and what they are. So, you know, which, you know, the, the hasty bake is about the same price as, as the pit boss, which is why I think that I would give the edge to the hasty bake over the pit boss. Um, I think that there's a lot of good good qualities about this AC Bake Roughneck Smoker. I don't think that it's a fair comparison exactly to compare it to the Mini Chud Box. They're very close in what they are, but they're just different enough. It's hard. I I like that you can do the hanging. So there's there's no doubt that the AC Bake uh, Roughneck Barrel Smoker is going to give you more versatility in cooking than the chud box. Um, of course, the chud box, I think you can put wood directly in into that firebox. You know, I would think chunks instead of like full splits, perhaps. 
Um, so I see that as being a little bit more versatility for the mini chud box in that regard only than uh, the roughneck barrel smoker. Um, and it's it's a hard decision. It's a hard one. I like both of them. Uh, you know, one's cheaper than the other. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. And you have your own thoughts. Uh, you know, which one would you prefer? Which one would you buy? Let us know down in the comments. If you own one, you know, put a review down there. Let us know what your experience is with these smokers. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, you know what? Go get your smoke on, y'all.